Alright, guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Man, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've been showing these videos. It really means a lot, which is why I kind of keep uploading so much each and every day. So if you want more, just keep destroying that like button. And as always, guys, let's do this. I like how we had the choice there. That's a nice touch. I had no idea that was going to be in the game. Alright, we got not too far of a... I guess, excursion to go on. You know, it's funny, I've been using this horse, but I wonder where my horse is. I see it on the mini-map over there, but I don't know how far away that is. Oh boy. Oh boy. I love how you can be sitting down playing, like, cards with people, and then all of a sudden learn, like, how to get different things in the game that you normally wouldn't have if you weren't around the actual characters at the camp, you know? That's just such a nice touch. Yeah. I'm not sure what percentage we're done with this game. I think last time I checked, if I'm not mistaken, it said like 12%. You gotta think, I'm like, I feel like I'm five or six hours into this game already. Yeah. That is, that means the 60 hour game definitely has some, uh, a lot more link to it than I expected, you know, because it's it's one of those games I already knew would be a, a ginormous, you know, story or whatever. I just had no idea that it would be this much, you know. The first game took a long time as well. I love games like this. That was cool. We had the option. I mean, like, if you don't help her, I wonder what happens. Obviously, I guess oh, this hey, the mission doesn't happen. Uh oh, hold on. Think you could help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle, something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on, girl. Hopefully it's not too far. Now where? You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? All right, let's go that way, I guess. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. Me but Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. That is awesome. Hey, why don't we stop? We got a ways to go yet. Easy, lady. Wait for these trains to pass, otherwise we're dead. Oh, a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left, especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. 
bottle in hand. I'm telling you, man, like the for, the only two people I've helped so far are the two women, and it's like I don't know, they got similar stories, which I think is kind of cool. I don't know if it's just like that time period or what, but uh, we're almost there. I feel like. Thing is, last time the other person gave me something, even though they were like hurting for money, which I thought was kind of weird. Like, I don't need your jewelry and stuff. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna find out what happens with this one. I don't think you can have relationships in this game. I'm not 100% sure if you can or not, but I would not be surprised at this point. Oh, we're getting close now. I don't think I've been to this spot yet. We're really far away. There's another train, unless that's the same one. Emerald Wrench. All right, we're here. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Another ring. Appreciate it. Interesting. What a lousy day. All right, how far away is that ML icon now? Probably super far. There's actually a, a mission over here. That's that guy. I mean, should we... Well, I would say we do that mission that we need to go to, but we're already here. Oh man, what do I do? I feel like going back and doing this one first. Kinda, I, I kinda wanna go in the order at which I had selected it anyways. All right, so we'll go back there. We can always come back to this one later on. We're gonna have to anyways before we get to chapter three. You know, I don't normally buy strategy guides, but I actually bought the, the hardback cover guide to this game. Hasn't, hasn't came in yet, but I love reading about games. Like, I think it all started with Resident Evil 2. The hunkin' tofu stuff I was trying to beat. I just... All the tips and tricks. It's like before everybody used Google. <laughs> I just realized I couldn't have done this like 20 years ago. You guys watching me play a game? You would have just had to come over to my house. That would have been awkward. <laughs> It'd be absolutely random. I need to hurry up and... I thought it was about to turn to, like, daytime and it seems to be getting darker. I think it's because the clouds or whatever. The moonlight's out. Some games, when it gets dark, it's incredibly dark and you can't even... Can't even see anything. If I had to pick one thing that I like... I think uh, there was a comment a few parts back that somebody said... I don't know which part it was, but they said, uh... I said, like, what's my favorite thing about this game so far? I mean, the story is really good. I think they do a really good job with the... I guess it, I guess you could call it, like, Band of Brothers type thing, where it's like... There's a lot of different characters surrounding your character that you see so often. You kind of have a bond with them. Kind of like your horse in general, you know? You, uh... You with your horse long enough, it's gonna, like, the bond level's gonna go up. Uh, but with this game, it's like the characters... It almost reminds me of that movie... I don't know why I've thought about this, but it reminds me of the movie Apocalypto. Where it has, uh, they're all through an adventure together. But there's like that main character for the movie, you know? But you constantly see them throughout the whole thing. That's the best, like, comparison I can think of. Oh, come on. That's at least what I think. I'm just curious what's gonna happen. I feel like there's gonna be eventual bad blood between the gang, but you really just don't know. Anything is possible. So we're turning right here. Here, the waypoint stuff, it kind of reminds me of uh, State of Decay 2 a little bit. You know, minus the zombies and everybody's struggling. I think we're actually right next to it. Is it right up here? Let me double check. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The icon ship. Yeah, right up here. I don't know if I should go up top first or what. Come on. Looks like it's taking me over there, so I guess I will. Ooh. Hey, we made it. Nice. All right, let me take that off the map. Rediscovery of theology. 
Gentlemen. Shell of safety. 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 The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm gonna say impatient. I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm gonna say I apologize, just to be, you know, nice or whatever. I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? Uh, I'm gonna say... Well, e either of those is kind of bad. I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um... Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Oh my, I gotta Leave chase alone, this fool? Arthur. Oh my goodness. For your help. Do I have to use the lasso again? I'm taking all kinds of horses in this game. I gotta lasso them up. The only way to stop them. Oh, no, 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 no. I've been spamming the X button. It's like the only way to go faster. Oh, wait, did it just cut through? I was about to follow the road. Oh, my God. Oh, good. Oh, is there a big drop? Oh my god. Oh, please be careful, horse. Alright, this is a pretty open area. Check this out. Go! How tough it must have been to lasso while riding a horse and actually catch something? Are you kidding? Couldn't have been me. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one! Ah. Yo, I'm Man, we trying to go faster. I don't have to answer to you! Come on, man. Give me a break. <laughs> you little dickhead. Sorry, mister. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Work now, girl! Ooh. What in the world? Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my god. You gotta be kidding. He's so lucky. I had a feeling Please, like I should have been able to catch him before that. I'm a man that. now! I, I found something! I call it. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Ow. 
That was actually now sick. Calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Now, come on. Right back to Mary with Jamie, Boy, all right. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Finally go to the post office while I'm here. Will he follow me up here? Probably not. We going in there? I don't think I've been to the post office in this game. Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Please! You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that.
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. <laughs> <laughs>